You are getting a first-hand look at the zoo at Brainerd International Raceway, Brainerd, Minnesota, where the animals, well, by a little bit of a different code. It's all part of the action here in the land of 10,000 lakes. I'm Dave Reef. That's Bob Fry, who's going to personally count every one of those next. It's time to go Top Alcohol Dragster, Top Alcohol Funny Car Racing at Brainerd International Raceway. It is the official end of summer, the race before the Labor Day U.S. Nationals. It is the Lucas Oil Nationals today, Brainerd International Raceway. It's part of the Lucas Oil drag racing scene. It's race number 11 of 16, which means we begin the countdown for all of the championships. As I said, that's Bob. I'm Dave. We don't have the calculator right now. We know there are a lot of lakes here, and we know in Top Alcohol Dragster, Bob, that there is a championship contender here who's been struggling and really needs to have a good race here. Several drivers in the top 10 here, but the one that he is making reference to, Bill Reichert. Bill is the number one qualifier. He's got a matchup against Dean Dubbin, who has never qualified for a race, stepping up from the top dragster category. And it looks like Bill Reichert, the class of the field, at least on his side of the ladder. The bottom half of the ladder loaded with talent. So Bill's got a great opportunity here to make up some points and put himself right back in contention for another top alcohol dragster national championship. Let's take a look and see what happened in round number one. And we're going to start with the number nine qualifier, Jim Whiteley, the number six machine. Michael Manners. Yeah, Jim Whiteley, one of those guys that I'm talking about. He's in the top five in the points. Very solid. The injected car giving him a good run, but Jim Whiteley out of the gate first. Wins it. Marvelous side-by-side -side run. 534. Beats a 536. Jim Whiteley, another title contender. He's on the opposite side of the ladder from that Bill Riker. He's number three in points and has a big matchup coming on. Now it's Chase Copeland, the number two qualifier, taking on Jerry Powell. That's that supercharged car, the medicine man, and off the starting line. Pretty good run, and then Copeland's going to run him down at the top end of the racetrack. Gets the win, and he goes 547. Nice effort by the doctor, just a little bit short. And here is Dean Devin, the man you mentioned, set to take on Bill Reichert. What has Dean Devin got to do? Well, not what Bill Reichert does. No, Bill Reichert fouled out. Only wow. the ninth time in his career, the first time in four years that he fouled out. Remember, last year here, he was stunned by Scott Palmer in round number one at this racetrack. He's had some great moments. The last two years are not among them here. That throws the points chase wide open in alcohol dragster. The rest of the top ten have indeed taken notice, and there is Dean Dubbin, who will get that by into the semifinals at its first race. As Randy Meyer also picks his lane. Meanwhile, on the other side, I should say, meanwhile, it will be Cody Perkins picking his lane. Then the guys three and four in the points, Chris Demke and Jim Whiteley.